my beach look today, a beautiful bronze glowing look, which is perfect for the beach. So I'm going to start with the most important, it is sunscreen. So this one's by Tarte and it's called Tarte Guard. It's really good because it's little and it fits in your purse really easily. Pop it on your nose first and around your eye area. So I always think about the areas that get wrinkly first because the sun's really bad for wrinkles, we all know that. I like to get it with your hair in it. <laughs> nose around your eye area and head most importantly so make sure there's plenty on those areas and then you can rub it on the rest of your face and your lips don't forget your lips I've had really badly burnt lips before and it's not fun okay once that's on you're gonna start with concealer so I'm using Maybelline New York concealer my hands are all slimy and I couldn't open the lid. Okay, so pop this under your eyes. This is really good because it'll cover your dark circles. It'll make you look more awake and healthy and glowing for the beach. I always put it on top of my eyelid as well because I get dark eyelids and um, you can see veins and things through my skin there because it's really, really thin skin. So I love using concealer over the top. And then I just put a little bit on my chin and around my nose. You can even do this too if you like, it's up to you. And then I'm just gonna use this brush by Sigma. So it's called 3D HT, H, HD, why can't I say it? HD Precision by Sigma, so there you go. Just gonna use that to blend it in. And then I'm gonna move on to a Bobbi Brown bronzer. And I'm gonna use my big fluffy brush by Sigma, so this is a large powder brush um, and it's called F30 and here's all the different colours. It's got a shimmer sort of palette and I'm just going to use the darker colours here. So I swirl that around, give it a bit of a shake and then pat down your, um, just underneath your brow, brow, underneath your cheekbone there. So you can suck in here like this to see where to put it if you like and I'd usually just dab it on, get a little bit more, place it on there first and then you can use circular motions. I find if I go straight into the circular motion, it, it can smear too much product around. So I usually just place it on there, see how much I've got to work with, and then I'll blend it in. So I need a bit more because I'm gonna look really bronzed today. Bronzed for the beach. And I do my forehead as well. So I always like to go around top of my head here. So it just darkens a little bit and it's like a three. So you go in and then down along your jawbone as well. So see how that's a three shape? And also, because we want to look really glowing, I'm going to get a bit more and just bring it along down my chest and down my neck. Sometimes a little bit of my nose. So this one's called Large Angled Contour Brush and it's F40. See the lighter colour there in the shimmer palette? And I'm just going to dab that on there. And then I'm going to go along my collarbone. This is just going to highlight it a bit and really bring them out. Actually looks really pretty. And then just a little bit on my shoulders. I need a little bit more. Nice glowing for the beach. And if you want, you can just go along here too. really gives you that glowing look and highlights those cheekbones. You can put a little bit under your brow bone too. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I've got my eyebrow pencil here. It's by Anastasia and it's called Brow Wiz in a soft brown. So I use the spoolie to brush my brows first, put them in place. And I just start from the base here and just flick up. And because this is a really natural sort of look for the beach, I don't want full on brows as if I'm going out clubbing. I'll just keep it really natural. Just go up a little bit on this side because this brow sits lower than my other one. And uh, just bring it out to the outer edge. And then use the spoolie to brush again. I feel like I've got to concentrate doing this. And then I'm going to move on to my mascara. So I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational in a uh, waterproof mascara because we don't want it running everywhere when you're in the ocean won't look good. You can move back and forth like this if, if you're not getting enough out. 
just coats your eyelashes a little bit better. And then if you want, you can do your bottom lashes. I usually don't, but I'll show you anyway. So I just touch the brush onto the lashes. Another thing you can do, you don't have to do this, but um, this is an eyebrow, it's called a clear eyebrow gel and it keeps your eyebrows in place and also helps your eyebrow pencil stay on. So it's up to you. Um, it's probably a good idea because it will keep them in place and keep them and put while you're enjoying your day at the beach. So it's really easy. Just put it on like this. Some of this lip, uh, what's it called? It's by, upside down, Buxom. So I love this lip colour. It's really natural and it's called White Russian. That's it there. I don't know if it's upside down. That way, lips done, and there's my beach look. I hope you like it. So I'm just going to get that out. Put it on my hand. Give it a few pumps. It gets there eventually. Eventually. <laughs> so if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to me on my channel here on YouTube and make sure you follow me on my Facebook and Instagram.